I want to talk about how to control a DC motor. This is the motor come from the uh, four wheel drive uh, kit, and uh, it's rated as 12 volts and uh, 100 RPM. And uh, this is the wheel I connected. So if we turn it on, so now the voltage is only kind of a quarter of a rated rating and it's it's kind of like this and if we increase the voltage the, you, was using, you can see the it, it's returning faster and more powerful this is about half of the power rated power and if you give it full voltage at 12 volts I don't want to go up but go beyond this one too so you see this one rotate way more powerful than before and one interesting thing is to observe it here is if you give it, for example, the quarter of the power, and uh, you see the current is like is like uh, 550 milliamp, and if you stop it, it's easy to stop, and uh, the current go to 500 milliamp, and uh, if you go half of the power, and uh, if you stop it, it's way more harder to stop. And also the current, the stall current is about one amp. And if you go to the full power, it's way more harder to stop. And also I don't want to really, really stall it because I'm not confident the gear. I don't want to break the teeth of those gear box. And also I don't want to burn the motor. And another, another thing you, you may need to know is if you want to reverse the, the rotation, what you need to do here is simply swap the input. Now you rotate the backward and it's the same. So a regular DC motor, you can easily change the direction by, by simply change the, the input. Now let's talk about how do we want to control the motor in real life. You may want, you may think that we, for example, we want to go half speed, we want to go with it six volt, and if we want to go full speed, we want to give it twelve volts or the quarter volt, quarter speed, kind of like three volts. But actually, that's not what people do in real life motor control. In real life, people we always use kind of PWM style when it's half speed you want to give it half of time full voltage and another half it's zero and if you want to go full speed it's always full speed if you want to go to quarter kind of speed you want to go to 25 percent time give it power and another uh, three quarter of the time i mean give it no a couple of reasons for that one is uh, the complexity i mean this Analog style is not really digital friendly. You need an AD and also output a kind of amplifier or, or equivalent. And another reason is the efficiency. Efficiency means two things. Uh, it means shorter battery life and also it means it will generate heat when it's operating, which will kind of require larger heat sink and also reduce the kind of maybe potential lifespan of the components. And uh, another thing is you, you need to know is when we control motor, we want to be able to control it all uh, forward or backward or at any given speed. So we want this kind of edge bridge. This is a power supply. And uh, for example, when those switch and those two switch are on, the current is going this way. So assume that's forwarding. And when those, uh, those are on, the current going backwards. So it's going backward. So you can control the motor's movement, including speed and direction by adjusting the cycle duties of those switches. This is called an edge bridge because it's shaped like edge. So next I will show you how to do that in Raspberry Pi programming. 